HMS Victory, Britain's most celebrated warship, has been documented many times throughout her extensive career. She's been sketched, painted, written about, modelled and photographed. Each artist has attempted to capture how she looked at that moment in time. But what if we could capture a detailed model of the entire ship, which allowed us to peel back the layers and reveal what lies beneath at the click of a button? That's what the conservation team at the National Museum of the Royal Navy has done by using state-of-the-art equipment to document Victory in 4D and offer an invaluable resource for her restoration. So the project started in October 2021. Uh, that's when we start um, thinking about how we can go about documenting such an ambitious uh, project, really, in terms of archaeological data recording, but also the need for information for the shipbuilding. Well, we have two ways of scanning the ship. So we have one that is extremely uh, accurate, which is based using laser scans. Basically, we're firing a sphere of lasers all around the space on Victory and it's capturing all those distances, basically, and it's creating a really accurate 3D model. So we add another layer on, on, on our systems, which is photogrammetry. Photogrammetry works in a completely different way. It's basically using loads of pictures to create a 3D model. So we have two different systems. We have laser scanning and photogrammetry, and we combine them together to get the perfect documentation of the ship. Whilst 3D scans have been made of HMS Victory since 2013, this is the first where a fourth dimension has been added, time. Using drone surveys and high resolution photogrammetry, the team have been able to capture moments in time before and after work is completed. This has now become the main way of documenting changes to the structure of Victory, as repairs are carried out by the team. But how does this futuristic technology scan a warship that's more than 250 years old? This is our laser scanner. Um, what it does is it fires laser beams through this optical end here, which has a mirror, and it spins, capturing basically like a sphere of data. That 3D sphere is then populated with images that are collected by all these cameras around the, the laser scan. And as it goes, it creates this three-dimensional model of the ship. But what it helps us is understanding more the areas of the ship that we need to focus for work. So this is the part of the laser scan that creates that photo mosaic or photogrammetry, where we can then query it and understand the different, the different parts of the ship that we're looking for, and we can go in every setup. With the ability to capture readings with five millimeters of accuracy, the laser scans of Victory show every inch of the ship and its textures with incredible detail. This data allows the team at the National Museum of the Royal Navy to explore possible solutions to issues before repair work is carried out. We are building a very, very nice picture actually of, of how she was constructed. And I think what these 3D models give us is the ability to, um, when we are in the office and we are planning work and we are thinking about how we'll approach things, so we can model ideas, we can think things through in the digital realm, um, and it will massively improve how we approach things and, and hopefully enables us to, uh, to reduce the risk um, as we embark on certain elements of work. So it's exactly the same as building a, a, a model of a ship and then working from there and extrapolating the dimensions. But we're doing it in a way that 3D media and uh, digital media can be manipulated, can be sliced, can be modified. And we've learned that as we go, things have changed and we can document them more clearly. So we can go back in time and see how these changes have happened. We've learned, for example, that some of the work that was done in the past was different from what we're expecting. We've, we've seen, for example, changes in the structure that we thought that were gonna be a certain way. For the archaeologists and conservators working on the conservation project, the 4D scans offer the chance to better understand and care for victory. For the shipwrights, the digital models give them the ability to plan their work with greater precision. As the project enters the next phase of replanking the hull, the team will combine 4D models with traditional techniques to decide how best to complete the work. We're using state-of-the-art technology with traditional shipbuilding techniques, which I have to say, I've never seen that being done anywhere else in the world. We have a few examples, of course, Katisark, many other ships that have been worked, but not to this scale. I think 
the work that we're doing here together with the shipwrights is really, really important. And also, it, it helps them learning about the ship in a different way as well. So we learn in terms of how can we apply technology to traditional boat building and shipbuilding, but also how can we use these techniques and these methods to go forwards and, and try to, to repair a, a first-rate a first ship of the line. By collecting this detailed information about Victory in a three-dimensional world, it will bring benefits for future conservation work. Issues that arise in the future could instead be easily examined and solved using the digital models, without needing to set foot on the ship. It's clear that having these virtual models of the ship offers the chance to better care for and ensure the longevity of HMS Victory for many years to come.